Don't we all have moments when uh, we have a painting that just sings for us and uh, it just seems like everything fits perfect on the painting? <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Christian Koivma and I'm a full-time Swedish watercolor artist. Don't we all have moments when uh, we have a painting that just sings for us and uh, it just seems like everything fits perfect on the painting. And uh, on the other hand, we have paintings that we can't figure out what is missing and uh, there's just something that's not right with the painting. And uh, in my opinion, most of the time when a painting really works for me is when the final touches, the final brush strokes that I put on the painting, uh, I do it with confidence and I do the right things. Uh, that's when the painting really works. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. I'm gonna try to explain a few or give you a few pointers uh, what you can do in your paintings and hopefully those final touches will make your painting sing as well. But having said that, there is another little thing that comes with it, and that is the word overworking. And I've been teaching students for quite some time, and this is something that I keep hearing over and over again. Uh, and the sad truth is that there is not that many things that you can do about it, because I think it has to do with your gut feeling, because every painting is unique, and uh, you can't say that uh, overworking at this point is the same stopping point for every painting. But uh, we're not going to focus on overworking, we're going to focus on small little tips on your final touches on your painting. So uh, here they are. So here we have a nice little winter landscape and uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this one, but it kind of feels like something is missing. There are not that much change in value and there are no sharp edges since uh, the whole painting has been painted wet in wet. So I'm going to try to fix that problem by painting some trees in the foreground, covering the background kind of. And uh, now all of a sudden we have more value changes in the painting, which will make the painting more interesting, but also a mix of sharp and soft edges. And just like that, the painting has a completely different look to it. Adding another layer of paint or another element on top of other elements in the background is something that you can use for most of your paintings. And it doesn't have to be a tree every time. It can be something else, like a lamppost or anything that fits the motif. So that's my first tip for final touches. And my second tip is that if you have ice or water in your painting, Make sure that they look shiny by painting reflections, just like this. This will make a huge difference for your overall feeling of your painting. There is something magical about a shiny surface, like an ice or water. So uh, adding reflections to your painting will definitely make it more interesting. There is nothing wrong with this composition, but sometimes it feels like everything is on one side and uh, the painting has uh, a lack of balance. In composition. So in this instance it's a quick fix by just adding another tree on the other side. And uh, the bonus is I get to paint a reflection to it as well. If you look closely I have created kind of a tunnel straight into the background with the tree surrounding it. But this is something that you can exaggerate even more. So I'm gonna add another branch that's even closer to the foreground helping this tunnel to take shape. And tunnels is a great way of creating depth in your painting. Sometimes it can be the smallest little thing or detail that you add in your painting that will make all the difference for the final result. And if you add something that's unexpected, that will bring even more attention to your painting. So now I'm trying to add small patches of snow that have gotten stuck on some branches in the trees in the painting. It's kind of a cool effect. And my last tip is if you feel like your painting is uh, almost too calm and uneventful, then maybe what it needs is some movement. And one easy way of fixing that is adding some wildlife, for example, birds. I hope you found this video useful. And uh, if you want to see the full tutorial, then go to my Patreon, because that's where you can find this 
tutorial and many others. Okay guys, bye bye.